so we decided to do our experiment on tragedy, um, specifically like tragic beauty, to see if it acted as a facilitator um, on creativity. I was reading a book by Chuck Palahniuk. It was called Diary. And in it, he was talking about how the Mona Lisa is a thousand, thousand smears of paint just brushed in the right way. Yet it's beautiful and it stays with you. So I was thinking, well, why, you know, why exactly does it stay with you? Um, and just that book probably was my inspiration for this whole research. And luckily everybody else kind of got on board after. What we landed on was we thought that art was something that was supposed to be obscure and unique. So um, in many different fields, we saw that uh, this type of art was based off of tragedy. So that really caught our attention and we thought that maybe that was something that we could pursue. We had to describe exactly what creativity was. We had to define what beauty was, which is such, um, it's so difficult to describe what those things are. So we had to do a lot of research on it. I was surprised by how by the ownership that they took of this project. I think that was the thing that was, I don't know if I was surprised about it, but it, it, I was hopeful that that would happen. But I was impressed with how strongly um, they were invested in this project. To me, I think psychology research is very important because I think that you need to know how you think in a conscious mind or unconscious mind. I think it's very important because your behavior is make you what you are. Well, I joined the second semester, which the first part of the project was already done. So I came in in the um, doing the actual experiment. We ended up giving participants in our study um, different videos. One of them was was tragic and beautiful. One of them was just beautiful, and then one of them was a how-to video to to work your Verizon FiOS remote, <laughs> which. I felt so bad for having people sit through. After the video, we had the participants um, take a Kaufman creativity scale um, so we can measure um, how creative they became. And we use Kaufman scale to figure out how they think, like they think more creatively or how they're taking that scenario or that condition and how they're interpreting. We collected our um, data, we found that Tragic Beauty did, in fact, act as a facilitator um, for creativity, which proved our hypothesis to be correct. So during the symposium, uh, right before it, I was trying my best not to stress out about it. I was very nervous. Um, I've never done anything like that before. I enjoyed it. I, um, after the symposium, I felt more confident. The end result was definitely rewarding. Um, and just being able to present our findings and saying like there isn't a study like this out there and we were able to do it and here's what we found and so it was definitely exciting. Being able to describe it to other people, to the professor, to the president of UNT Dallas, that was amazing. I loved it. <laughs>